update. Sorry, we had some technical difficulties. I had to get the account up, back up and running, and we did. And here we are. Um, as you see, this is GameStop, and we've hit our target. Uh, we traded into this zone above 200. Um, I took a overall 237% return on this trade, so I, I'm very happy with it. Now, from a technical perspective, this trade's over. It hit its zone. It's done everything that it could possibly do, and um, you know it's it's done. We're, but uh, a few people did ask me, "What if I wanted to hold? What would I look for?" I have absolutely no answer. I would look for I don't know a few thousand dollars. <laughs> if you really wanted to go for it, there are a lot of crazy people trading this, um, and they're holding for the moon and the things that you would hear them say in this Reddit group that they have is pretty amazing. But let's look at some possible areas um, of which, where can I grab my, oh, I hate these tools, I hate these tools. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. There, that's close enough. Then we'll grab this over here and we'll take it to the high that we had right here. So the next level up would be around a $300 level. That would be what you would look for, the 61.8, and then above that, 426. And then going forward from there, we have numbers that go all the way back up to the eight to 900 range. If you really wanted to hold and you think that you're going to um, you know, get go to the moon, go to a few thousand, who knows? This is a parabolic type of trade. These guys, that we're betting over here, and that send it all the way up here. We're betting on it going even higher to the, you know, to the moon, wherever it wants to go. Um, but there's, from a technical perspective, I caught this trade based on just good understanding of technical analysis and so forth. So I'm not greedy. I, I don't do the greed thing. I, I do what happens most often. This could fail somewhere in here and then go all the way back down to a normal valuation for this company, which would put it back, you know, in the $20 range and under. Um, maybe there will be future trades on it where there's a technical pattern, but right now there's nothing here to trade off of and uh, it's over. Uh, my buy average was around the $55 range and then my target was above the 200 and all of that's happened. Um, you were here. You've seen it. I don't have to tell you. You can go past the past videos. Uh, this was a very good trade, and I made it. You know, I did well. And uh, on to the next is all I can say. Um, let's do take a look at Tesla. I did want to point this out because we uh, do have a pattern here. But yeah, the GameStop trade is over with. You you can go for it. It's a space cadet mode from here, so I'm not interested in it anymore. Uh, it was fun, but uh, uh, there's no emotion in trading, and all those people that are trading it right now are all emotional. <laughs> they're all, they're all, we're, you know, hold it forever. <laughs> um, anyway, on to the next. And here we have Tesla. Tesla's developed kind of a pattern right here, but. This is what I was talking about when I said you cannot trust just the pattern. The statistics on this of continuation lower are very high. Um, there's a bunch of warning signs uh, in the volume and elsewhere that I can see uh, that are high. Uh, now, that doesn't mean this pattern won't complete and we'll go back up to like uh, the $720 area, the seven the low $700 area up here because of the fact that you do have a structure. But it, it just, uh, price action wise, there's too much scared money in this that they're going to be losing um, on this. And, uh, you know, that's not a good sign. Uh, the ticks are ugly on this. Um, we do have a pre-market open topping out, you know, pushing back up. And we do have this pattern here. So keep that in mind. But I, I like the short I'm going to continue to hold it from my target, which is down here, and I'm not worried about it. Uh, so I just want to let you know about that. We also have Bitcoin. Let's go back to Bitcoin. And we 
found support right down here. All right, made sense. And now we've traded back to the zone. What it does here is going to be very interesting because if it's following this trend line out, its next levels up are going to be probably around that 60,000 uh, number up here. Uh, and we'll see if that does it. Uh, that would be a really good indicator if it follows the trend line out, maybe it goes above, who knows. But uh, that means it's it's on its way, it's on its trajectory. And it's on its way to 118K, that all rhymes. All right, so let's do that. There you go. So that's what it would be telling us. Um, not much to really do, but just watch it continue higher as time goes on. Maybe it oscillates and whatnot. It's already pulled back to one support, found uh, it like that, and then went back up. And that's why I bought the 10% like I did. Um, and where would I sell it if I wanted? Well, I don't have to sell that when I see something worthwhile to sell. And that would be back in the 60,000 range. Um, so we'll wait to see that. But right now it looks like it's just following the trend line out. And you know where we're headed longer term. I don't have to tell you. I think we're going to get to that 118,000 level. And that would be its minimum target if it decides to do that. Uh, that's, you know, um, it's logical. Let's just put it that way. So um, that's what we got for Bitcoin. What else do we have out there? XRP. XRP is kind of lackluster and kind of irritating. I mean, it's nice that I had to buy down here, but it's not really participating with uh, the bull run that we have in Bitcoin. That's a little troublesome, but that's okay. Uh, I, I think once it's case and all that goes away, then you'll get the real move on it. For now, we're just in hibernation mode on it. I, I do believe this will be in the $2 range in the future. I'm going to continue to look for that once it catches back up, and it might do it in a, in a fury if any news is released uh, from the... CFTC and SEC, they have to figure out how to get out of this without uh, any real damage because uh, the previous Jay Clayton screwed this up. He screwed the pooch, as to say. And now they have to figure out how to get out of it politically correct and, and the safe face, I guess you can say. Um, but yeah, that's what I would be looking right now. Uh, my pot stocks got hit last week or this week and they're not looking so great but that's okay I'm not worried about them they're just in retracement mode kind of my true Libya my favorite uh, and then you got your grow generation that one's had a more severe you know downturn um, now I own these for much lower levels so it's like whatever and uh, T God look at that it's back in that buy zone but ooh, that's ugly um, and Tilray, look at that. That's one that look at that, it was all the way in the six, and now it's back in the twenties. <laughs> um, now these are, in my opinion, more longer-term plans because it's going to go for years on out. It's probably going to be a lot of consolidation on pullbacks. You know, these companies might start buying each other. That would be something. You know, that uh, would be probably next. You'll hear about that in months to come. You'll start seeing one company buy another. Um, that's what happens in the normal phase of things on uh, pullbacks in a growth industry, and it's definitely a growth industry. Uh, so I'll look for that. Um, now, do I see anything out there that I want to trade and whatnot? I did see one, and we'll talk about this. Um, this Tomo, I, I talked about how there's really, you know, I, I can't go off of this because there's nothing there. I'm just doing it for one of the members. Um, you see, Boom, 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 growth, boom, growth, accelerated growth. It's taking full advantage of this market, but I, I don't have anything here that I would really feel comfortable trading. So technically, there's not much here. Um, the growth in the, the volume and so forth, that's a good sign. That's bullish. Uh, but other than that, not much really there. Now, Wing, 
This is the one that's interesting, and I bought this one. Not a lot, but I, I did buy some of it off of Bryce. Bryce went over and found a good play. This is a very good play. And there's a bunch of reasons why. It's, and it has to do with the volume, and I was watching this and analyzing it, and I like the volume structure on this. Uh, I could see clearly this having higher upside over time. And I think from buying from 34 and under, which I did, I think my average on this with what I bought is around 29, if I'm correct, because uh, I bought this drop here and so forth. When it spiked down here, it created a one, two, three, one, two, three, and then pulls back up to the highs and higher. And we'll see where it goes from here. Uh, I would not want nothing less. Like, and then I said 80. That's it. So this is a, a over... You know, it's a, it's a good return. A minimum target would be 80. Let me put that up there. Let me do a little red line for you. And, um, you know, this is definitely one, in my opinion, to hold. Where's my little... Come on. Where, where... There we go. All right. So let's draw a line right here. Around 80. So we're going to look for 80 on this. And it goes right back to here. I get that stupid song stuck in my head Pet Shop Boys. Uh, um, let's make lots of money. <laughs> well, I guess that's kind of like what I do, but <laughs> do I really need to have a 80s song stuck in my head about it. <laughs> anyway. So with Wing, you can see right here, uh, I thought this was a good buy. And in actuality, it's the mid-20s that make it uh, a good buy zone. This would be, a, so I kind of overpaid for it, but I, I like the play. And I think uh, Bryce did a good job. Uh, he had their volume markers that I look for that this fits perfectly with. And there's a few other dynamics. Um, uh, so he spotted a really good trade. So congrats, Bryce, you did a good job. And I would be looking for 80 and above on this. And we'll see what happens in the future. Bye, 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 or hold, hold, whatever Jim Cramer says. <laughs> um, all right, that's my uh, weekly video. And I will talk to you guys later in the week. And uh, we'll find some new and interesting plays. Until next time. Oh, I want to go to sleep now. Anyway, until next time, have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.